after Lost 1612, mm. Invictus Lost 16 1611. So, Invictus <laughs> should be the slight favorite here. I don't know. I don't know. I'm trying to make uh. sense of what's happening. But we're into the pistol round, Digger. We jumped in straight on in. And it is going to be, well, a 4v4. Trades back and forth. T-side start for the side of After Gaming. And always going to open things up. Bomb will get planted. Bottle finds one before he gets taken down. And the trades are fast and furious. But Marek and the man himself... The man with the big wang, he is alive. And the block, not able to get the kill. His position compromised. Crossfire is good. He needs to get a kill. And he's got to kind of whiff it. He finds one. Now it's all in the Marek and the one tap. Midair, Viva, wrecked. And Xiao Sage. This is going to be night unwinnable as long as Marek doesn't face. And Marek's playing this one safe. Playing this one smart. Xiao Sage's got a kit to work with as well. And Marek, all the what veterancy for this player. <laughs> it's coming out to play here. Five seconds remaining. He taps the bomb. And there's no I time remaining. He's going to like it. And that is going to be the round. Brilliantly played by Marek. And after gaming, he's going to win the pistol round. A good couple of kills there from Oi. Definitely showing up against his X team. And yeah, Shasta Gay had the kit, just couldn't get the uh, the shots off. And Marek plays like a like a pro. And really good stuff coming in from after gaming. They were a man down in that retake as well. They were playing in the post plant, a player down. But they still make it work. They still pull it off. And it's after gaming with the pistol win. A good start. They need this into the T side of trend. They need as many rounds as they can get. And winning the pistol, if they can win this follow up Blair, well, now we're looking at a situation where after gaming might just be in themselves at least a good competitive game here on train. And what Viva running straight through the brown holes, he's going to get shut down by Bingo. Charles mm -hmm. again went to throw the smoke, but didn't release it from his hand and instead jumped into the fire for a couple of seconds. And now we will get away. Oh, he's going to be burnt out of Pop Dog. Another thing for uh, for Invictus I want to point out is, you know, we always talk about the Invictus Deagle rounds. I don't think we've seen anywhere near as many. Compared to the previous uh, Al Summer, yeah, I agree. <laughs> Ow. This guy's wow. been pretty good in the series, to be honest. Yeah, I mean, Tom's favorite player, right? Yep, definitely. And well, there's another one, the Glock. Three kills, you'll be having a good time with that. And now it's just flying. The last remaining player is going for the jump shot. Tempted a little bit of flashiness here, but he always hits the shot. He hits the <laughs> shot. Of course he does. <laughs> and well, it's 2-0. And I don't know, uh, Bly, if you've ever played Wii Sports when the Wii was like a thing. Uh, I I did play it once. I I want. I think it was I was on like a it's like a date night, and ah, I okay. kind of threw the controller at her TV, and broke it, so it didn't go well. It didn't go. well. <laughs> But yeah, yes, I remember. That was the, the first and last day. Um, yeah, so when we take when we uh, go not golf uh, tennis when we sports <laughs> and the tennis you used to be able to hit the super fast serve. You yeah. know, like you can never stop that. Well, you have to hit that to get the fast serve. You would have to hit it at the very top of the jump, right? The apex of the jump, and that's what the scouts like now, right? You have to hit jump, and as soon as you're at the highest point, it's it's very accurate. And that makes it more difficult. And I think that's one of the better changes we've had in Counter-Strike over the years. Because the scout was ridiculous and how many jump shots you could get. But I think that, that change is fantastic. Skill base now. Well, it's kind of unfortunate it never really took off, right? Like, I think uh, there were so many possibilities with that. And, I don't know. Have you, have you tried playing Half-Life Alex? No, I, I don't have a VR headset, but Mitch did, and it looks awesome. So it does, it does. For everyone has played the game, is that it? It is a game changer, right? But it's just unfortunate because you know you have to invest in the uh, you know in that entire headset, which is I won't lie, it's pretty expensive, and you also need a pretty good rig to be able to play that game to its you know full um, in its full glory. And I feel like that's the only reason it hasn't really taken off. I feel like, but I really want to try it out. I mean, the things you can do in that game, it's it's classic. You Valve, can right? color in windows with felt tips you can draw the possibilities <laughs> the, poss the sheer you can, possibilities you can carry you can get on a bike but you can't ride it but you can definitely make it look like you're riding the bike i'm just waiting for the day we have um you ever seen the movie uh what do you, what do you call that film actually i've just kind of had a brain fart it's by steven spielberg ready player one there we go oh yeah have you seen that film yeah, it's it, it was a fun watch, but it feels I, I can't know. watch it again. It's a one and done for me. Yes, exactly. It's a fun one-time watch, but let's hold on. 
Marok's opening it up. This is a buy. This is the buy from Invictus. An opening kill has gone the way of after gaming. Destroyer might just get wrecked, and he will indeed be destroyed. Flying's gonna get a kill towards Ivy. Mid-air, Shao Sa game, but he still gets a kill. Flying's gonna find another frag. And now it's a 3v2. The problem is. If after gaming have kept an eye on the kill feed, oh no, Viva! He doesn't miss those that often, and that's a big whiff. And flying, there's nothing he can do. He's just gonna run for the hills. Gun will be saved. Getting back to Ready Player One, Dinka. Yeah, I mean, I, I it's a one and done for me because I watched. Well, it's just one of those films you only want to see once, and also. I watched it in IMAX, so once you've oh. seen a film like that in IMAX, you never really want to see it in any other way. I haven't uh, I haven't watched a new Nolan movie, Tenet, because I oh, don't want to get... It was good? Really good, yeah. I, okay. I went to see it in 4D, which was uh, <laughs> probably the best cinema experience I've ever had. I've never got 4D, so it's like where they like spray water in your face. Spray like water, if, yeah, oh. you have a, a chair that moves around, it punches you in the back when there's fight scenes, smoke machines and smells come out when there's the, you know, gas grenades going off, uh, bullets, they have air pouches out of your ears, so when a bullet whizzes past, it imagine, shoots air past your ears, it's brilliant. Imagine watching yeah. a, a movie like, wait, hold on, let me think of a, think of a movie here. Um, something which won't get me banned from Twitch chat or, you know, which won't make me jail fire me. But uh, imagine watching, like, a horror movie, like an Evil Dead in 4D. Yeah. Like, the Very smell cool. of, like, corpses just, like, <laughs> rotting eggs in your face. Uh, you know, yeah, no, I, I, no, I don't want that, Dick. I don't want yeah. to have popcorn while smelling the, dead bodies. The, the best part about the, the whole 4D experience for me at that time, which will... Well, we can talk about it. But it, it um, when I, was, uh, when I went there, we didn't actually know that we had bought 4D tickets. So my girlfriend went to the bathroom to start, and I was already watching the film, and the opening scene had started, and that was very irritating. But she comes back, and it's a quieter point in the film, and she just sits down, completely unsuspecting, and then an action scene happens, and I was just waiting, just waiting for her to realize her chair was about to punch her in the face. <laughs> it, was, it was the best experience ever. That's, uh, yeah. Oh, okay. Wang does get a kill, Dinko, but... They're down at 2v4. Somehow the Deagles, you were saying that the Deagles from Invictus have looked a little flaccid today and recently, but right mm -hmm. now they are looking pretty uh, pretty deadly, pretty dangerous. Yeah, it's showing up in this one. It's going to be the first on the board for Invictus if they can close it. And oh, well, a reply from Bingo and Wang is exactly what they'll be looking for. And that's exactly what Bingo is going to try and go and do. He's got the first and nearly the second. But there's the shot from Wang. He gets aggressive. He's got to go down, though. The bomb, it's gone. And now Bingo with an AK. He's still playing with the Deagle. Let's pick up that bomb. He's been spotted and now trading out to the AWP in this clutch. That's probably the worst weapon for this kind of fight. And he goes down. It's the first on the board for Invictus. And it's off the back of a round that you just wouldn't expect. Well, you would from Invictus, but nonetheless. Yeah, I think round they probably of... shouldn't win. They shouldn't have. They 100% shouldn't have. The first kill going the way of flying, fair enough. It was an AUG one on one duel against Oi. And then these, like, uh, this is just some rough stuff. Mara gets caught. Nade in hand, nice shots coming up from Bottle. And uh, I think it was Bingo there. Yeah, he, he had run out of bullets in his, in his AK, which is why he had the uh, the Deagle out. And yeah, he just wanted to like swap weapons. He didn't want to give an opportunity for the CTs to potentially jump onto him when he was uh, caught off guard. And this is a four spy. As Sakai finds Destroyer. Oh, standing in the flames is Marek, and he gets taken down. A bottle should be aware there's a player nearby, spots him out. The timing is perfection. Bottle picking up the pieces. Two players who are already damaged. It's Bottle looking for more, and Bingo now all alone. 1v4. They know where he is. He's trapped, and Shao Sag is doing a very good job just keeping him at bay. There's nothing he can do unless he gets a kill, but Viva is not going to miss much. As Invictus, this long train of a comeback, it starts now. It was 4-0 for after gaming. The Invictus, they've won the Deagle buy, they've won this buy round, and now we just have to play the anti-eco. Well, maybe Shasa Gay getting aggressive up into the brown holes. The second kill coming in as well. It's Bingo and Oi both going down early on into the round. And Bottle 
just walking in T-Con. That's a good start and a clean up round probably here from Invictus. Wangs here tries best here around the corner with the P250, but this round's done. It's four to three Invictus. Racking the rounds up now. Goes down Wangs and run right into the AK here. Bottle, much better start for him. He was really quiet back on Inferno. It's some questionable decisions as well, but that's a good start. This would be good for his confidence. Oh, indeed it will. I mean, he was the weak link in that uh, Inferno game. <laughs> he was kind of low, so nice shot from Marek, though. Just one casualty. The double ops will remain in place, destroying Viva. And we have Wang with the op of his own. Did you, uh, speaking of Wang, did you see the latest episode of uh, The Boys? Uh, no, I, I'm waiting to watch that uh, season two. I haven't watched it yet. I'm going to wait until the episodes are all available and oh, just sit okay. and watch it. True, true, true. I think we're in like episode six now, so I think just two more weeks and it should all be out. Um, fun, fun, fun show, fun show, fun second fun. season. Yeah. Heard good things about the second season, so that's... Uh... It's one of the few shows slash movie comic adaptations, which in my opinion, it's, be it's better than the uh, than original comic. As we yeah, do it's... see Mara creeping up. Yeah, sorry, go on. It's not, it's not as dark, apparently, right? It's, I never read the comics or whatever. Uh, yeah, the comic's unnecessarily mean. Does, does that make sense? It, it's dark. Yeah. I mean, I mean, it's, even but it's show's unnecessarily dark. so. Yeah, here it's just being mean because uh, the guy who writes the comics, uh, this guy called Mark Miller. I mean, we're going to talk about it later on because right now, after gaming, if I just snatch this one back, destroyer, mm, that's not it. Shao Sage, he's going to go for the save. Round's done. There's nothing it can do. And after gaming, this is pretty good. They reply back. They make yeah. it five to three. They still have to retrieve the bomb, but it's okay. Shao Sage is not even going to attempt this retake. And it's going to be round number five for after gaming. Money looking pretty good for Invictus, though. The, the rounds they won, they won it very convincingly, so they're going to be happy. So, so the guy who writes the, who wrote the comic, Mark Miller, um, he he really hates superheroes. He wrote for DC, he wrote for Marvel, and every time he wrote like a DC or Marvel comic, like maybe it was a Spider Man or a Justice League, he would make them look like idiots because he just doesn't like superheroes. So after he left uh, both DC and Marvel, he. Uh, you know, he, uh, most of his writers, they write for a lot of indie publications, right? So he wrote The Boys, and it's kind of obvious that all the characters, the, the seven, are a parody yeah. of Justice League, right? And it just made them look even, like, supremely stupid and vile and disgusting. But but it got to a point where everyone's just, well, a dick. <laughs> even Billy Butcher in, in the in the show, he, he's kind of nice. You know, he's, he's gruff, he's a, he's a little bit of an a-hole, but he's still nice. In the comics, he's almost as bad as, let's say, Homelander. So watching the show, I was pleasantly surprised. I'm like, this has probably been one of the best adaptations of uh, of a literary work. Yeah, because usually they kind of fall flat, or they're just not as good, or they don't really leave you as satisfied. But like the entire DC cinematic universe, <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And well, five to three, we're right back into things here, and it's impressive so far. But I have to say, after we're gonna be showing up here on train, it's their map pick. I don't know what I was expecting, um, but yeah, they're showing up. They're putting up a good performance. Five rounds already on the T side. They win this round. They probably go on to win a couple more. But it's all about keeping this economy afloat. They cannot afford to let Evictus into this and to start getting momentum built up on the side. And Sakai. He tries to swing out. He tries to take a fight, but it doesn't work out for him. He flies, and he takes a second kill as well. It's going to be a four versus three. I'm at advantage in play here for Invictus. And it's pulled back, though. Marek has done good work. Shao Sage gave it away his life. They don't know the inner bomb that's empty yet. Bottle, oh. bottle, bottle. This is such a sick play. He slowed it down, Dink up the schedule work out. Yeah, bottle coming in from behind. Destroyer. He, he, they know where he is. Flying from above. Oh, bingo. With the AWP flying, just crouched down, not showing his head. He's going to pounce on Marek. Bomb yet to be planted. Bingo is going to take a shot through the edge of the smoke. He spots a Chelsage as well. He won't be expecting the second player. Bottle's going to be coming in from behind. Bomb's not planted for him either. Bottle knows where both the players are. The flashback, the timing on that. So the problem here for Bingo, he doesn't know where Bottle is. He has no idea where Bottle is. And Bottle, somehow, he just sneaks his way in like a like the spy from tf2 and they have no idea where he was and in the end it works out for invictus a very scary round considering they got the two opening picks or after gaming the dinko yeah they lose a round but they make it very expensive for invictus very very expensive indeed 
Yeah, they definitely... I mean, that round was looking like it was going to be an absolute destruction round coming in from Invictus. I mean, the start that they got was just unbelievable. But if it's not for flying, if flying's not on this team, then uh, that's, that's an important kill that he picks up there. 5 4 though, and it's going to be after the pistols will hear Ike in the hands of Bingo, but they have got enough in reserve, uh, enough money left over that I'm quietly confident for in this round. I, am, I can agree with this one. Have a chance to do a little bit more damage and perhaps even win the round. It's going to be a kill from Sakai, follow up kill on the Tech 9 from Wang. Oh no, Invictus. Oh no. What? That was that was clean. Uh, Not a single kill comes in from Invictus. There was one AK. There was a couple of Tech Nines. There's a Deagle. I don't. They rushed Ivy, and they got uh, every kill needed. Sakai started things off even blind. Wang immediately just tearing the head of the bottle. Amazing flash banks. Mitch will be happy. Finally, some flash banks being effective, and and look what happens. They it's just got strike. You win slapped. rounds when you throw good flash banks. They just got slapped. Absolutely wrecked there. And the money. Look at the money. And then, yeah, the money. This is just such a precarious position. Now, in Vickers, they need one of those rounds again where they just win just with the deagles, or else they're screwed, Dingo. It's a forced buy. And now, Bottle, he's got to be the guy who delivers. He stands tall and delivers. His Char Saga has got a kill for himself. It was the push in from Inner. And Bottle's. Listening to all of this, you can hear Wang and Oi just running up. He's going to be expecting the player below, Sakai. He is very, very, very low. And if he gets found out, Dinko, it's a 3v3. <sighs> oh my god, that was so close. As Bottle is going to come creeping up, he should still win this duel against Sakai. Yes, he will. And with that kill, they've got a lot of real estate, but... After, they're going to be coming out from Pop Dog, and of course, Pottle's not going to be expecting that, but at least his position here, that's a huge position, Dinko. And now Marik duking it up with Viva. If he wins this duel, it's going to get even more rougher in Victus. Xiao Sage comes around the corner, and it's all on Bottle. 1v3, he makes it a 1v2 bomb, yet to be planted in Bottle, the hero of the hour. We said he needed to deliver, Dinko, and he delivers in spades. A 4k for him, 14 frags, the new member of Invictus showing what he can do, and what a round to show up. Mm. Not a fan of uh, of this for after. It's so unfortunate. Look at that. That doesn't really make sense. They just kind of offered it up. The bottle, fair enough, does so much work to take them down. But yeah, after just that was a round they couldn't afford to lose like that. But they come right back into it. They've got a buy. Um, but the, the problem is that, Blair, you've given yourself such an opportunity to move forward. Right? You, you, they've forced bot as well. If they win that next round, well, then, beyond, uh, should I say, Victors are going to have no money. After should be up seven, eight rounds on T side. I start to favor them in the series at that point, but they still got a chance. They're still fighting back, and they've got a man advantage into this round. Victors scrapped together in the previous, but this could be a round where they still fall behind. After could be taking seven rounds. You can just close this. Sakai up on top of the trance gets away. Barely escapes. Winning arms of the CT defense. And now we've got after gathering up towards the brown holes. Bingo's and Pop Dog. Do they hit the A bomb site or do they go towards B? There's only one player on this B bomb site, and that's Viva. He's not really in the best of positions right now. He's repositioning. Bingo's gone back up the ladder. And what? Viva goes down immediately. And so that's a bit of a, an awkward play. And his destroyer here on his own on the B bomb site. Shao Gay's gone as well. That's the A site completely empty. They're just going to commit through the lower site. What is going on here? What a weird round that is. <laughs> the, the money's even worse now. <laughs> Maybe it was a tactical uh, loss the previous round from after. They're like, all right, we're going to make... We're going to give the 1v3 to uh, to bottle. So you buy and we're going to beat you. And then you have no money for the remainder of the half. Ha 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 ha. Well, I don't think they were thinking that way, but it's actually working out, Dinko. The force fight comes in for Invictus, and why the hell not? We're going to be going for a second eco anyway. With three rounds remaining, this is after gaming, maybe, at the very least, Dinko. Potentially. Get into round number nine here. This could really work out. 
Oh, bingo. Doing good work. Sakai as well flying is out of there. And after, it rounds T side. God damn it, but it's unbelievable. This is so impressive from after. And well, oh, shouts like he denies the bomb plant, but he will go down. I like how he plants the bomb. Uh, and there's a, and no one's covering Ivy or the back of the bobs. And like, I'm not a single player in a 1v4. It's just... It's small little things, Dinka. Small little things, which... Which is why I wake up like middle of the night crying and sobbing. Mm. So, definitely uh, an impressive performance, I have to say, from after coming into today. Now, underperformance from Invictus, yes, but you cannot take that away from after at all. This is a huge performance from them. Oh, absolutely. I, I feel like after gaming, um, all jokes aside, right? We've been making fun of them for being terrible this entire tournament. We've been we've been very critical of Invictus as well so far in the series. After haven't really made too many mistakes. We know they're not the best team here individually. They, I feel like apart from Wang and at times Marek and Oi, uh, they don't necessarily have the firepower to contend against like some Invictus, Vichy, or Tai Lu. But for what it's worth, they have been looking very solid here. Well, they do have the firepower right now across the board. And after have been winning ridiculous rounds with pistols. Oh my god. Oh, go no away. Thank you. Thank you for ending that, boy. Destroyer <laughs> goes down. And now it's a five versus three. A two man advantage for after. And they're going up against P250, Deagle, and a USP. This should be around in the bag. Absolutely no problems. Shouts at Gay. He's out of there, flying towards the back lines. He's got himself USP. He has to stay away. He now rotates over to 1.6 and it's just kind of dodging between them. Viva with the headshot on the Deagle starting to move forward. He gets another one, Blood. This is a three versus two and a chance for Viva to do even more. A third kill. Oh my God, Viva. Oh, he's going back. A 4K on the Deagle. Just stop this madness. A one oh versus one God. for Viva. 20 seconds on that clock as well. And that bomb is not down. They've got a two versus one. Viva has done everything. And bingo. Takes Tense. down flying with 12 seconds. Viva could ace this. He could get all five. The shots, he misses them. He has to start planting this bomb. And Viva knows he can sprint after him. He's got the positional advantage. And he pulls out the AK. What a play from Viva. What a round. Five kills. And my god, after. We were just hyping you up. We were saying you've been playing well. You weren't making mistakes. And that happens. Oh, that was that was beautiful for Viva, and that was oh my eyes, my eyes, everything hurts watching that from after. This is just so. Why is Marek facing? Your teammates coming out to cover you. Why? Why are you giving him a one v two? Like so many questions, Dinko. Like there are questions in life. Like, are we living in a simulation? Um, you know, is are, do aliens exist? Is Area 51 real? Are there lizard people amongst us? And one of the questions up there with those questions are how, in God's name, they'd have to throw that away. <laughs> I really don't know. If that comes back to ruin their game, if they come back to just, like, lose... Every straight round in that CT half. Yeah, they could be up nine rounds here, blood. They had an opportunity to go 10-5 from the T side of train. What the hell just happened? Viva. Portal. Be He's there for the kill. Why? He's going to go down. Hello? What's Oi doing? Hello, Oi. Oh, there we go. Smoke's down. Now, they go around the corner. Uh oh He's going to go down to Oi, luckily, but... We should die a little bit sooner now. Destroyer just running into T-Con. Oh, this is... This is starting to get messy now. This is where the good counter strike... Well, I say good with a huge pinch of salt. I, I maybe even say it with an entire salt shaker. But this is definitely starting to get worse. 35 seconds left. Flying with a double kill. Oi and Marek both going down. Shoutside Gay secures the seventh round from Victus. It's not a brilliant half by Victus by any means. And... One they're not going to be happy with, but one they, they'll they take because it could have been far worse, right? It could have been a 10-5 half here. Probably should have been a 9-6, 10-5. That, that was just ridiculous from Viva. That, that is, that might just turn this game. That might be the turning point in this map. The fact that they lost to an eco, two ecos, 
right? Uh, you had the ace from uh, from Viva, apart from that earlier as well. It was, I think, flying just with the one M4 and like four Deagles. They lost his two rounds, and yet they're in the lead. That's how bad Invictus the CD side were. They were relying on players individually getting quad killed and aces, which is ridiculous, and it's not sustainable at all. But thumb after eight rounds. Still, they'll still, still be kind of happy, Dinko. I still feel like they'll be happy. They're like, yeah, we've pretty much done enough. Bottle on the bomb train. Just good for one. Bingo replies back with destroy with a trade of his own. Bingo somehow surviving that. And now it is a 1v2 flying. The star of this team, Glock out, calmly tapping away. That was a messy fight. But the read, the read from flying, that was beautiful. And Marek, he had no chance here. The Glock bullet to his face the moment he walks around the corner. And that is going to be another clutch going the way of Invictus as it tie things up, Tinker. This is at a point in which Invictus will be finding round win after round win just off of individual ability, right? This has not been a, a fantastic game. And I think this is probably the showcase for how, how Invictus play. It's individual skill. That, that's it, right? Uh, that's all they have, and they have so much of it that it's enough. And they're winning some ridiculous rounds because of it, and now Destroy running out with the AK. Takes down Wang, looking for the follow-up as well, but it's always fighting back in the USP. But it's not going to be much more available to the defensive side. They will go down after one kill. Nine to it. Invictus Gaming into the lead after gaming, starting to crumble. They will be able to buy into this round. They will lack utility. The buy won't be fantastic, but the decision is there to be made. I'd rather to just stick with the pistols. Yeah, I'm okay with this. It's still trained CD side. It is something, you know, if it's long as you... It can get quite problematic for the T side when, when you know, when the CDs, they get the economy rolling, they have the, everything on shutdown. And it, I feel like trained T side becomes more of a mental game. It's a very hard bit to kind of drag yourself out of when you don't really have any openings you're not able to get the map control as Invictus looking to probably sorry after game rather probably looking to recreate some of the deagle magic that we saw from Invictus earlier on the CT side but flying and Shao Sage just shredding the side apart Marek wrapping up bullets is unable to find anything and he'll be found out as well one player remains bingo and he finds two a destroyer Shuts him down before he uh, tries to pull off his own 1v5 ace. And that is going to be 8-5. to five. After gaming now with the buy, Dinko. And it's going to be a big buy indeed. The double op setup comes out. It's going to be Marek and Wang with the big green zoom bangers. And Oise Saber, Sakai, and Bingo with the M4s. Quite a bit of utility as well. Let's see what they got here in the first buy round on their CT side. Do or die time now for after because of their mistakes and because of those individual moments from Invictus. They are now in a position where they're going to have to do everything they can to get off to a good start in the second half. This guy takes a little bit of damage, but he's still sticking around. Still trying to take these fights and doing a decent job, but shout out Gay will get rid of him. I think he hangs around a little too long there, Blair. Mm. I agree. Sounds like at least hasn't been a liability so far for Invictus here on the T side, unlike on Inferno where he was just basically getting taken out early on. Smoke's going to be thrown in, and the hit is going to be coming in. But the nice incendiaries from the CTs as Flying gets found out by Bingo. Oh, shot from Wang, not able to find anything. Catches Viva, dropping on dub, but not before Viva finds two huge kills from above. That is so well done by Viva. And now it's a 2v3. Man advantage for the T's. Wang finds another one. Bottle's position here, though. It's unknown. Marek finds Shao Sage. It's a 1v2. Bomb down for Bottle, but Wang! Out of nowhere! Just smacks him into the ground. How did he even know? Did he hear him jumping around? I I, I don't know. That was sick from Wang. Yeah, that was fantastic stuff, and they need that kind of hero play from him. They need him to be that star and to deliver these moments where he gets these 3Ks, where he gets these ridiculous rounds, because after, are going to need everything to go that way if they want to pull this off. 
Invictus, they were given opportunities towards the end of the first half. They've now put them in a position where they will be able to compete on this T side. And they're 10 9 up. The AK 47s are out. Oh, Shao Gay, Destroyer picking them up early on. Viva goes to the AK as well. So it'll be the full rifle setup coming in from Invictus. This does allow them to go for some of these quicker plays. So we'll see if Africa can hold on to that. Let's see what the play is from Invictus. They're going to send. Destroyer off to cover IVs. Toss the Molotov in. Oi. Oh, oi. Okay. This is nice. He's going for the IV aggression. And he's come back in behind it as well. So once he doesn't see Destroyer, he doesn't have that straight up fight with him. He can come back through the smoke. Oh, the lineup. Oh. It's perfect. They both line up. And that's the bomb presented to Sakai. Brilliant stuff. And after all, to a fantastic start. That is so smart from Sakai. He sees a nade coming in and he pushes in. Catches them switching over to the AK-47. They were setting up for the double drop, and they get completely obliterated. Sakai, very low on health, but he's got the bomb. And look at the push taking place, Dinka. Look at Bingo walking up as well. This is going to be nigh impossible. Molotov can find him. Viva, the second a Molotov gets tossed in. Bingo peeks. Waffle and Destroyer all to do. It is a 1-2-V-4. Make that a 2-V-2. Bottle Jr., he strikes again, Dinko. He was a hero earlier. In the first half, with that hero AK-47 of his, now are they going to be expecting Bingo's position is a question. Bottle sneaking in from behind. There's no way he's going to expect that. And now, to 1v2 Destroyer. And what a shot from Mary Catches him jumping in midair. But for a moment there, Bottle Jr. almost, almost made it happen. And I still don't know why he's called Bottle Jr. He used to be Bottle. Is there another player called Bottle Senior in China? <laughs> We've got the wrong one. <laughs> <laughs> Nice try, though, from Bottle. Trying to make that yeah. work. Really nice try. Just not enough. And it's going to be around four after as they tie things up. And yeah, I, I really, I'm going to be honest, Blair. I didn't see a world in which uh, after would be able to do this. I never seen a world in which they were going to win this series. Never mind in a position where they might just go ahead and take it 2-0. It's going to be a quicker play into the B-bomb site from Invictus as they keep charging forward. It's Beaver that falls next. And while the rest of the team should be following suit pretty quickly here, one plant coming through is the ideal situation. And that's going to work out. Bottle trying his best. Gets another kill, but he will only find the one. And this is, uh, this is a done deal. 11 rounds picked up here for after. They're into the lead again. Bottle's playing like a beast right now. 24 and 14. The rest of the team, there's no, there's no one there. Not even flying. Flying is having a quiet showing here on Trin. And Victor's kind of looking quite rough on that individual level. And if they're running dry on that supply, then... Oh no. We just talked about it in the post game. Of the fact that that's all they have. I have to agree with you on that. If the individuals aren't really showing up, then it is going to be quite, quite painful indeed. Invictus now trailing by a round. And like you mentioned, Bottle was the the weak link on, on Inferno, where they lost in overtime. So he's really stepping up here. He stepped up. And it wasn't just, you know, like a 3k which he lose. He, he has won them some very crucial rounds indeed. Wang standing in the flames! If he does that, he needs to ensure he lands the shot. Maybe. Unfortunately, it doesn't work out. Exchange of nades. Really not doing much damage. Sakai is still going to stick around. Ivy completely given up. Relinquished by after gaming. And a flashbang is good. How does he not die? How does he not die? He was blind. He was blind as a bat for half an hour. And he still gets both the kills. What is this? So, it's ridiculous. Sakai just out of nowhere pulls that off. Should have been dead to right, but gets after a huge advantage into the round now, and they should be looking for 12. Four away from victory, that would put them. And the money would go back into the bin here for Shasake and the boys over on Invictus. And now there's a chance. Oh, wait, that's so good. He's absolutely toying with his ex teammates, showing them. Are you sure you made the right decision here? I mean, you thought it was carrying your ass, but not enough yet. Okay, maybe, maybe. No. Here we go, Bottle. There we go. <laughs> oh, he takes it down in the one versus one. Oh, ball is showing up. This is him getting comfortable now. We've kind of witted. We've witted and witted, but this is this is the bottle we know. Bottle is, uh, yep, yep. 
He's making kiss. Look, what is this? I mean, sick work. Oh, Flying actually got on the ladder. He actually got back on the ladder, which is why his aim just got thrown off. Oh my god. What an, what an effort from Bottle there, though. That was some sick AK work. It's, uh... I don't know what buy this is. The straw has gone for the full commit. The rest of them just with some pistols. One of those weird ones, Denko. Oh, that's so gotta much damage. hurt. Ugh. So much damage. And what, now we look at a uh, situation in which Invictus are down and out right now in round number 23. They, they've got a pretty terrible buy. Not, not exactly in a good spot right now. They're taking a lot of damage at the start of the round, and they're going into the B-bomb site. Currently, two players here at the moment. No, they're going to get onto the site. They're going to get bomb plant just with the way that after have decided to play this. Very passive behind the smokes, far back in the bomb site itself. But, uh, giving a lot of respect on over to Invictus. No kills yet. Chance for Invictus to win this round, though, Blur. One nade there. Okay. The three players there. Bingo. Oh, this is a rough spot. He's going to get mowed down. And this buy, how has it all gone wrong? It's happening again, Dinko. We're all losing our minds. That wasn't even a buy. It was one AK-47 for Destroyer. But it wasn't even the AK which did anything. It was just the pistols overrunning that after gaming defense. And now after gaming, well, the money's not that great either. The rounds of one have come down to these 2v2s and 1v1. So, yeah, money can in the bin. Invictus, they're kind of back in the driver's seat again. The madness, the, the just the, this crazy train, it never stops. Oh, really doesn't. And now, well, 12 to 11. You do not know how these rounds happen. And I feel like if after go on to lose train, they're broken. Like mentally, you've had so many opportunities here on this map. You had opportunities to have a one-sided first half. You had opportunities to stretch your legs and get into a position where you're able to close out Trin in the series 2-0 as you move on to the next one. But this has just been a little too messy from both teams. And we expect that from after, not so much from Invictus. Look at the flank. It's not going to do much though, is it? Surely. Not a P250. And dive down, at least try and get a gun here. They turn around, they'll Fine. destroy. Here's the steps, and he jumps. Wine just kind of thought he had to get in behind quickly, but he gives away his spot, and he didn't think about winning, but Bingo gets two on the deagle. And now this, it hurts more that Wine didn't get much done there, because Bingo getting the double, you know, if Wine comes in and picks up one of these players, you're into a three versus two. You win that round, most likely. But uh, just a bit unfortunate. After gaming now, 12-12. They, uh, they're still tied up. They've, they've got an option to buy up here, and that, that's exactly what they're going to go and do. But this really does feel like now Invictus are just going to break their hearts. Look, I like Wang. That sounds so wrong. Please don't quote me on that. <laughs> I like that's Wang good, as a player. That's good to know. <laughs> I, I like Wang as a player. That, well, that even sounds even wrong. But anyway, I like the player, the Counter-Strike player Wang from the team after gaming. But that, he walked so long. Uh. Until he lost his nerve at the last second, Dinko. Uh, he, he, could have, he could have been a little bit more patient. No one is looking his direction. And like you said, one kill. One kill. That's all he needed because his teammates would have been able to pick up a couple more. It could have been a 1v1, a 2v2. Very winnable. More damage being dealt out. Please flash. Please flash for him. Why would he? I'm getting flashbacks of that pop dog flash earlier. Oh, Marek. Oh, this is a bad round. He peeked After... into the flash. This is where we're, we're seeing Invictus now. Just th This is the end. I'm going to kill up. I think this is where Invictus just closed this now. I think after I've had every opportunity, if they were going to do it, they would have done it already. Uh, okay, the round's done. Uh, Wang's left alone. It's a glass cannon as well, and I believe they would be... Uh, no one's going for the hunt. Uh, PGL, could, could we have a quick replay of that pop dog play? I want to see where the flashbang landed. And why... I mean, it landed right in front of him, but what is that timing? He peaks a, a full, like, a second before the flash pops. Like, there was no cue, no... Like, there was no, like, sound cue or nothing. 
That was one of the strangest Pop Dog Peaks I've seen. And it goes all the way back to uh, to day one I, or day two where the, there was a very famous moment where Mitch and uh, Tom both lost their collective minds with some of the Pop Dog plays from After Gaming CD side here on this very map. So can we please have a replay of that? Because that made no sense to me. Okay. All right. I don't oh. understand. I don't understand. Uh, well, wine gets a good start. His AWP is the only weapon in play here for after gaming. His kill is short lived though, as Bottle finds Sakai. And Bottle has been solo carrying this team to this point. He is having a great time on the kill count. And then Victor's gaming should be up to 14 rounds. Take a look at what Bingo is. Just jiggle peeking from the connector. It's not like they're going to be able to do much of the USPs at this range. It's uh, it's a done deal here. This is a uh, foregone conclusion. It's going to be 14 to 12. Yeah, yeah. You, you just save us two rifles. Your money's still in a very, very rough spot right now. And you don't necessarily have to do that, guys. Oh, oh Pump just got planted. It just got planted. I had a brain fart thing. I thought the bomb was just ticking away. Oh no, not like oh. not like this. Oh my no, god, not no like way. This. this was USPs, blind. Now they have AKs and an all, but now they go forward. Viva under pressure, the Deagle pulled out, but Bottle and Viva! Oh. Oh, thank god for that. Big deep breath for Invictus. They pick up the round win. Bottle and Viva saving the day so many times. Oh my god. How have after lost that though? How did they go on to lose that? Well, Viva. Okay, there we go. Nice, nice flash from Viva. Good flashback from Bottle actually helping his teammate out. Yep. All oh, them peaks, he doesn't sit back, and then Viva just shuts everybody else down. I mean, blah. He's got 19 kills. Five of those came in an ace from the Deagle. Another three in that round. Eight kills. <laughs> That means he would be on 11 without- but if you remove, remove those two rounds, he'd be on 11 kills right now. <laughs> that is true. That is correct, indeed. Oh, Sakai. You're mad. This- this is crazy. That was another opportunity for after to just take this. They're, they're looking like the better team. They are the better team right now here on train and oi just lines up too. It's flying and bottle both going down and destroy a low stuck in T-Con. Imagine, imagine after pick up that previous round blur. They probably win this. They imagine, probably win this here and now. Imagine they don't lose that 2v5 to Viva's Deagle, Denko. Imagine they don't lose to the 1v3 to Flying, sorry, to Bottle's M4, Denko. There are a lot of would've, could've, should've. And honestly, if some of those rounds hadn't gone their way, this game's over. After would've won this. And I agree with you. After have been a better team. Just that Victus have these individually godlike moments from some of their players. And sometimes that's what it takes in a game of Counter-Strike. Sakai, he's been an absolute god in the pop dog. Viva, he's aware. Sakai, don't go up the ladder, please. I can channel into your brain right now. He's don't gonna go up the ladder. Go up the ladder. He's gonna go up the ladder. You know don't what's gonna happen. Do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, he gets away. He's forced away. Thank you for that Molotov. What a terrible. Sp Hello. Well, that's not <laughs> how that works. He didn't even throw it into the flames. <laughs> <laughs> That's not how that works, Sukai. You have to throw it on the Molotov. <laughs> he stays alive, though. He does take an extra tick, but nonetheless, he's alive. Wine with a kill, though. He goes down, and Viva and Destroyer pulling it back. It's going to be map point here. If Invictus can close this, they've lost a couple of players. This be bomb site. We've been distracted by Sakai's antics in their pop dog, but in the meantime, Invictus has seized control of this B bomb site. They have seized control of this round, and Viva, that was the opportunity for Bingo. Now I think this looks like it's going to be 15. The setup is good in this B site. They're a man down the retake. A missed shot from Oi as well. He's going to re-peak it. And that's it. That's going to be it. Marek having to try his best. Not going to win the round though. 15-13. Invictus pull it off. 
And after gaming, they have had so many opportunities, Blair, but it looks like they have run dry. Yeah, um, this time around for Invictus, is going to be Bottle Jr., the hero. The hero of this team has dropped a 30 bomb Dinko, 30 kills, 17 deaths. And for him, I, I told you, I told you that guy's going to go up. I told you. <laughs> Uh, Why? <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't uh, know, man. Like, this... this even, team even in matchmaking, there's going to be someone walking that angle. Even in matchmaking. Why? He's done it every round. He's been in Pop Dog. They're obviously going to look at Pop Dog. You've... you've oh. Okay. Well, he's back again. And while Bingo up in the brown holes, loses the fight to flying. This is the beginning of the end. GG. Sakai is up the ladder again. And it's over. After gaming. They don't... They had so many opportunities, Blair. Across the game, they, put, they looked like the better side, honestly. On average, they were the better team. They had so many chances, so many opportunities given to them. Viva, though, he, he broke the hearts twice. He broke the hearts twice.